the Labour Party at this very special 150th anniversary May Day rally. I bring fraternal greetings from the Labour Party, the parliamentary wing of our movement, to all trade unionists in Dundee and to all working people in this beautiful city of ours. It is work, friends, that continues to define the mission of the Dundee Trades Council my party and the challenges that our city faces. Securing dignified, well-paid work with good terms and conditions for all of our citizens and especially the young people of Dundee so they can stay in our city, build their families and communities here. That is the mission that has bound us together for 150 years and continues to challenge and bind us every day. Friends, Dundee like many working cities, is suffering from the powers of globalisation and automation. Our control over the flight of capital is minimal. As I walked side by side with the workers of Flint and their GMB representatives last year, as we attempted to put together an employee buyout scheme, we came up against the huge obstacles of that international capital. Automation is at the heart of the threatened closures and job losses in HMRC up and down the UK. And friends, I have to pay tribute today to Stuart, Hamish and Sharon Jeffries, the Dundee PCS branch, who have campaigned relentlessly against Dundee job losses and have saved the jobs of their members and fellow workers. It is working with trade unionists like the PCS, GMB and CWU in this city that is a great privilege of my job as an elected representative. But friends, to really give voice to the hundreds of people committed to Dundee Trades Council values over 150 years, it is not good enough to fight to stave off job losses. We must fight for future industries, prosperity and wealth to come to working people in this city. And that is why today I make no apology for the Labour Party in Dundee's campaign for decommissioning jobs in this city. Good industrial jobs that will afford good salaries, security and training for young people. To make this happen, we must work with industry together with the trade unions. And today, I thank GMB Scotland and Unite Scotland for their support in this campaign and ask for their continued support as we move forward with it over the next year. But friends, make no mistake today, no matter how many agreements are signed on decommissioning, no matter how many mentions in city deal papers, the decommissioning campaign in Dundee will only be a success when the first decommissioning worker opens their pay packet. And only on that day can we celebrate here. <laughs> Friends, May Day is a celebration and commemoration for socialists the world over. For all people in this city square today and all our Dundee comrades over 150 years who have made our movement what it is. Let us say loud and clear today in the words of our lost comrade Joe Cox, there is more here today that binds us than that which divides us. Whatever party of the left, we are bound here in this city today by our values, our history and the love of Dundee and its people. And that is what makes us strive every day for work, dignity, justice and equality in Dundee. I am so proud to be part of this movement, as I have been for over 20 years, and my great-grandfather uh, was president of Dundee Trades Council over 100 uh, years ago. Let us rejoice in this anniversary and take strength from it as we work to combat poverty and unemployment in Dundee together. Thank you.